Yo, you know the series. It's just four episodes. I just finished it. But I never thought that I would, you know, be into watching this. Because I really w- wasn't into the band Uh-oh. back in the day. <laughs> but it's the story, Menudo. I saw that. I saw like I saw that as like the the advertisement for it. That's on Prime, right? Uh, or is it Hulu or some shit like? That? I think it's like Hulu. <sighs> it's or on one Prime. Those Prime. Oh, I already paid for mine. Don't give me that. Man, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's some way scandalous stuff that goes on in that in that that series. Oh I yeah, mean, <laughs> I mean, when you think about the structure of Menudo, right? It's like um, it's like a boy band that's put together, right? It was huge. And and and. and it always changes because once you hit sixteen or seventeen, they yeah, fa- too old. They phase you out. Yep. Like Ricky Martin, who's the last guy on there. That's when he's getting phased out. But he used to be the guy in the beginning, <laughs> at the front, all the way to the right. He had left, and then they brought him back. Yeah, well, because he was like the biggest one. Didn't yeah. one of them end up having a steel face? Or like I don't know. Like I think one of them. That was like big news, and when he was showing the one, the one in the middle, right, right here. I can't remember what his name is, but that's problem child number he, three. No, no, he went on to be like a producer, right? I think he went on to do other stuff outside. So him and Ricky were probably the most successful of of the lot. They had the best hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, their hairstyles were wild. They had, they had the most. Hair. They had the most most chicks screaming at him. Every single one of those haircuts was available at those unisex barber shops where they, you know, where they tell you the people. Oh yeah, they were on, they were on the menu. <laughs> they were on the menu. Get like, ese Ricky? Yeah, they tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you would go and it's a senora cutting your hair, dude. I want that menudo cut. You know, go out to to the. That's how you do it in those places, though. That, like that was ice cold. I bet, like you know, when you were seventeen and you it, the guys that when they turned seventeen in that band, they were like, it's over. It's over. Unless, unless they were still the big thing, like Ricky Martin stood big. Like even when he went on, I mean, he went on his own, and obviously he blew up. He blew blew, blew the hell up. He's still popular. Yeah, he's still. I mean, he's legendary, right? He made art. The other favorite. guys, not as much as him. So, like when he turned seventeen, I think they knew he was okay. The other guys that were in the band previous, or or the group previous to him. Not so much. That guy all the way to the right could be a young Pedro. Oh, man. <laughs> but, young Pedro. Yeah. I can see yeah. that. Give him the shades. <laughs> that, like, no one. No that was one. Before you had facial hair. No one from any of the manifestations of Menudo blew up on a solo career like Dude did. I didn't even know that. I thought you guys were talking about the food to begin with. And then you guys <laughs> you didn't, you didn't about know about the, the group Menudo? No. Uh, I heard of Ricky Martin, but not Menudo. Oh, yeah. man. Okay, so he comes from that group. Like, it's a boy band thing. Yeah. Right? And that that's... Like an organization. It was going on before him. He was, like, I think in the second generation of it. And it continues because once you turn 17, you can't be in the band anymore. You ain't or a boy once no you more. turn 18, you're out of there. And they recruit. And they recruit, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Interesting. They, they were like uh, in total about like 43, 44, 44 members, of, members of the Menudo. Ah, damn. That's, that's how many. Uh, we are the Menudo much. Familia. They could be a <laughs> gang, dog. Man, it was hardcore. <laughs> that was imagine, like- imagine they do like a Menudo reunion. <laughs> they have. Oh, no way. They uh, have. Have they like all sung the together? Yeah, all 44 dudes? No, no. Just like the, <laughs> no, the, first, the first five. The first five, they've done a reunion. Oh. They well, should they, do they, a, OG. They should do the one with all 44 and have them all singing. Yeah, for real. The same songs they were singing, man. They were singing some corny. Cornball. I, I couldn't corn. do it. Corn I couldn't ball. get into it, but I mean. Cornball. Oh, man. <laughs> one of my older sisters, the one from, you know, <laughs> from Cuba, she would she when she got here. That's she did like Menudo, man. And that's that was my introduction. And I, hate, her- and, and I did not like the introduction, but it was what it was. <laughs> Does anyone know a name of them songs? No, I no. I would not know one. Don't name. know one. Yeah, like I mean, what's their what's Manula's biggest hit? Don't know. You could probably check it out. On this is something we don't know, but you could ask Siri because she knows everything that I'll know it all. Right Biatch. Here we go. Lo mejor, lo what do mejor. they say, Cole? 
Say to na- <laughs> no, say, it. say, say it. Come on. Say it to Neo Estas. It's Niao. Niao. Say to no, it's Niao Estas. Niao. There's no, no. there's that Enya no. right there. No, that's oh. above the A, though. Okay, my bad. I, yeah, I did. Oh, I, did. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I'm starting things. to get the B-Real Damn, Visions. Damn, do I gotta give you guys a lesson or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, the B-Real Vision's happening to me, too, dog. Oh, I can get this one pretty good. I, this I one says, hold me. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even by them, though. <laughs> yeah, they did an English <laughs> album, man. They did like yeah. a cannonball. Oh, yeah, uh, like a cannonball. Is that even spelled right, right there? Se tu no? Si Setu now estas? I think how they, however they meant to pronounce si it. Situ no estas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, typo. Somebody typoed the hell out of that think, right there. <laughs> yeah, hold on. What year it. is that? Uh, 1998. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so yeah, that was, it's, that's should, a late run right there. Yeah, but that's see, the later. Yeah, 90, 84 right there and 81. That's how far back this group goes. It goes back even further than 81. that, probably. Man, yeah. 81. Early 80. Very early. Early 80s. Think about that. <laughs> I definitely did not know Menudo. Yep, you would have been cycled in, well, cycled out. Them? They held auditions. <laughs> and if you held yours, you possibly won a spot. Crazy. It was like uh, it was like the seven. It's like making a band by it's like the, it's like the seven and the boys. Ah, uh, they have to right. re- <laughs> renew them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The you, soups. I'm you, surprised di- they didn't make a reality show out of that. They should have. It like, says Menundo was formed in 1977. <laughs> yeah, 1977. Menundo. Menundo. Are you over Menudo. Menudo. <laughs> no. That's why you don't know about it, because he's not... How old yeah, is he? Yeah, 1977 is started. So imagine right now, if they had it going right now, they could do a reality series on what it takes to be in Menudo. Like the whole audition process, the having the, the rehearsal processes, because they were like the new edition of... Of like uh, you know They're, Spanish boy bands, right? Yeah, Bobo, would that be a? That would be exactly correct. They were like the huge boy band. I mean, think Spanish. about it. They started before New Edition, 1977. Yeah, early on, they were like trying to be the Jacksons. Jacksons, Jeez. the Osmonds, all Jacksons, Osmonds, all those. They all were trying to be that in Spanish, in the Spanish form. There was something and, else and going I think on, they were man. from Puerto Rico too, right? Yeah, they were they're from Puerto, Puerto Rico. New edition. Boricua. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. they started spreading out. Yep. You know. But man, yeah, it's a four-part series. It, it's 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 kind of scandalous how they were all done up. Doesn't Ricky have robot babies or like fucking robot like babies. like those those uh, those babies that were created in the lab? Like, I'm pretty, he grew up, <clears throat> like, he remember, like, first of all, it was, like, a whole thing, and then he, like. Got some up, test tube babies? Yeah, like, because, <laughs> nah, for real, I, I think it's a real thing. It was a big deal in the Latin community, because, number one, he was, like, a hard I didn't want to say it, Steph. I mean, I knew what you, I knew what he was talking about, and that was it. <laughs> Man, <laughs> robot. It. Yeah, they, 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 uh, what is it? Test tube baby. It was shocking as fuck, number one, to the, to the Spanish community, because, like, they're, they're so, like, you know, like, they're, like, still not 100% there with the progressive shit, so they're, like. Over here, uh, you know, they're like, oh, he's gay. He was doing in vitro yeah, way th- back in the day. And Yeah, and then he, like, had artificial babies, and then he was like, I don't even want a partner. Everybody's talking mad, masa. And then, <laughs> yeah, he had, he had, the kids are, like, 12 now or something. I just remember, like, my grandma and my aunt talking about it. Like, it was a serious thing. They were like, you remember you used to like him? 